In the vast expanse of cinematic history, Sergio Leone's 1968 masterpiece, Once Upon a Time in the West, stands as a timeless emblem of the film industry's prowess. Its enduring qualities provoke contemplation on what makes a movie resonate across generations. The narrative, a ballet of tension and grit, unfolds against the backdrop of a changing West, weaving a tale that transcends its temporal confines. As we delve into the cinematic landscape of the late 60 seconds, questions arise. What intrinsic elements have cemented this Western epic as an everlasting symbol of the industry? What cultural nuances and storytelling finesse contribute to its enduring appeal? The answers, perhaps, lie in the film's meticulous craftsmanship, arresting visuals, and an ensemble cast delivering performances that linger in the corridors of cinematic memory. Have you ever found yourself captivated by the vast expanses of the West, or has the movie left an indelible mark on your perspective? Share your personal stories of inspiration or impact in the comments below. How has Once Upon a Time in the West carved its place in your own cinematic journey? And now, let's step into the world of random facts about this iconic film. Did you know that the renowned score by Ennio Morricone, with its haunting harmonica motif, has become as iconic as the film itself? Such details add layers to the tapestry of appreciation for this cinematic gem. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Once Upon a Time in the West? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Your insights contribute to the ongoing legacy of this cinematic classic. Settle in for a journey through the lens of the West, where dusty landscapes and the echoes of gunshot reverberate across time. Once Upon a Time in the West invites us to ponder its significance, not just as a film but as a cultural touchstone that continues to shape the cinematic landscape. Once Upon a Time in the West, directed by the legendary Sergio Leone in 1968, is a cinematic masterpiece that redefined the Western genre. Set against the backdrop of the changing American frontier, the film weaves a complex narrative involving a mysterious harmonica playing stranger, a notorious outlaw, a vengeful widow, and a rugged bounty hunter. This epic tale unfolds with deliberate pacing, accompanied by Ennio Morricone's iconic score, creating a hauntingly atmospheric experience. Leone's signature use of extreme close-ups, sweeping landscapes, and tense silences contributes to the film's unique style, elevating it beyond traditional Western conventions. The characters, each with their own moral ambiguity, challenge the genre's archetypes, adding depth and unpredictability. Once Upon a Time in the West had a profound impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent filmmakers and leaving an indelible mark on the Western genre. Its exploration of revenge, justice, and the mythic nature of the American West continues to resonate, making it a timeless classic that transcends its era. Kirk Douglas, a fervent admirer of Sergio Leone's work, actively sought the role of Cheyenne in the 1968 movie Once Upon a Time in the West. His lobbying efforts reflected a deep appreciation for Leone's directorial prowess. Despite not securing the part, Douglas' interest underscores the magnetic allure of Leone's cinematic creations, drawing in seasoned actors who recognized the transformative impact of his films. In the intricate dance of film production, decisions ripple through time, and this casting episode reveals a crossroads for Clint Eastwood. Having collaborated with Leone in a trilogy of spaghetti westerns, Eastwood opted out of Once Upon a Time in the West, fearing typecasting. This pivotal choice not only altered the dynamics of the film, but also strained the relationship between Eastwood and Leone. The fracture persisted for years until a reconciliation in 1988, marked by a dinner meeting in Rome. This incident, a testament to the complexities of Hollywood relationships, adds a layer of intrigue to the legacy of Once Upon a Time in the West. While Kirk Douglas' pursuit and Clint Eastwood's divergence hint at the intricate web of decisions shaping the film, the essence of Once Upon a Time in the West lies in Leone's meticulous craftsmanship and storytelling. From the iconic opening scene, where Stoney defies a dripping water tank with unflinching coolness, to the broader narrative arcs involving a harmonica playing stranger, an outlaw, a widow, and a bounty hunter, Leone's directorial choices permeate every frame creating a timeless classic that transcends the boundaries of its genre. 
In conclusion, the interplay of actor aspirations, casting decisions, and the ensuing dynamics within the film industry adds an intriguing layer to the narrative of the 1968 movie Once Upon a Time in the West. Beyond the behind-the-scenes anecdotes, Sergio Leone's distinct directorial style, and the enduring themes explored in the film contribute to its lasting impact on cinematic history. The genesis of Once Upon a Time in the West in 1968 marked Sergio Leone's return to the Western genre after the success of the Dollars trilogy. Interestingly, after completing The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly in 1966, Leone initially intended to shift his focus to a different project, Once Upon a Time in America, a film exploring American history. However, the overwhelming success of the Dollars trilogy in the U.S. led him to revisit the Western landscape. This decision spawned a trilogy with Once Upon a Time in the West as its inaugural chapter, followed by Duck, You Sucker, in 1971 and concluding with Once Upon a Time in America in 1984. Leone's trilogy aimed to encapsulate three distinct historical periods that shaped America. The script writing process was no small feat. The initial draft stretched a staggering 436 pages. Leone's meticulous attention to detail and narrative intricacies laid the foundation for a cinematic masterpiece. The film's enduring legacy is not just in its on-screen brilliance, but also in the behind-the-scenes challenges overcome during its creation. Away from the directorial realm, John Carpenter, an ardent fan of Leone, and the film, integrated in Eo Morricone's Jill's theme into a personal milestone his wedding procession with Adrian Barbo. This underscores the film's impact, extending beyond the confines of the cinema screen. In essence, Once Upon a Time in the West stands as a pivotal work in Leone's filmography, bridging his past successes with a new exploration of the American West. The trilogy's thematic resonance with American history and the sheer magnitude of the script exemplify Leone's dedication to crafting an epic that transcends time. Sergio Leone's 1968 film, Once Upon a Time in the West, marked a significant shift in his career. It was the inaugural feature produced by his newly established company, Raffrin, named after his daughters Raffaella and Francesca. In a subtle family touch, the two girls made uncredited appearances at the Flagstone station in the film. Diverging from the exclusively Spanish settings of his previous Dollars trilogy, Leone ventured to the U.S. for certain scenes, notably shooting in the iconic Monument Valley, a location favored by John Ford. This move distinguished Once Upon a Time in the West as the first spaghetti western to be filmed on American soil. Beyond its production details, the film gained international acclaim. Leone often recounted an amusing incident in a Parisian cinema where the movie ran continuously for two years. Despite the enduring popularity, the projectionist, worn out by the repetition, humorously exclaimed to Leone, I kill you. The same movie over and over again for two years. And it's so slow. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the making and reception of Once Upon a Time in the West add layers to its legacy, showcasing Leone's familial ties, his exploration of new filming locations, and the enduring impact on global audiences. As the sun sets on the iconic landscapes of Sergio Leone's masterpiece, Once Upon a Time in the West, let the echoes of Ennio Morricone's haunting melodies linger in the vast expanse of your thoughts. This cinematic journey, etched in 1968, has become a timeless tapestry of emotions, weaving tales of love, revenge, and the relentless pursuit of destiny. Now, take a moment to reflect on the dust-covered plains and the faces etched by time. How does this epic tale resonate with the chapters of your own narrative? Are you the lone gunslinger seeking justice, the enigmatic harmonica player with a score to settle, or the resilient heroine facing the winds of change? Embrace the vastness of your own personal frontier as you traverse the landscapes of memory and emotion. In the silence that follows, share your reflections with fellow travelers. What scenes play out in the theater of your mind? Which character's quiet strength or untold story speaks to the chords of your soul? Let your words become the echoes that resonate across the cinematic canyons, connecting us through the shared experience of this unparalleled cinematic odyssey. As the credits roll, we invite you to contribute to the collective tapestry of appreciation for once upon a time in the West. Your memories, insights, and musings will join the timeless river of discourse surrounding this cinematic gem.
In the vastness of the digital frontier, your voice becomes a harmonious note in the ongoing symphony of admiration for this classic. Thank you for taking the time to journey with us through the sands of time and cinematic brilliance. Your reflections are the stars that illuminate the night sky of shared appreciation for this timeless masterpiece. Until our paths cross again, may your memories of the West linger like the dust kicked up by a passing tumbleweed.